pacer. If I can begin with you, what an important three points that was. It was. Um, it just actually feels nice to, to win a game again and um, have that feeling and, and the dressing room was, was buzzing. I think we full, fully deserved it, to be honest. Everyone put a right shift in and, uh, yeah, happy days. Obviously, you got the goal, Acer, but Mark, obviously, there was uh, quite a bit of defending to do that, but you didn't have to make too many saves tonight, did you, because of the, how well the defence was marshalled in front of you? Yeah, I think that shows the spirit that we've still got in the group and the belief that we've still got in there. Um, we haven't given up yet. And I think, like you said, I've not barely had to make a save. We've been under a lot of pressure. But blocks from uh, Ace and Marks and others as well have been kept relatively quiet. Hey, so we were talking um, uh, only last week about uh, having been in some how frustrating it was watching from the sidelines. So to come up with the goal tonight and be able to rally the troops out there in, in front of uh, uh, what is a very difficult physical side, it must have been very pleasant. It was, yeah. I mean, they make it difficult every time you come here. It's not an easy place to come, but. Like I said, I think the boys just put an absolute great shift in. Everyone did their job and uh, yeah, it was nice to get on the score sheet. Uh, great balling from Kev and just found me in the right place, really. Mark, I think uh, no one can really question the spirit of the side tonight, can they? Well, definitely not. Um, like I said, just said, yeah, it shows that we still believe. Um, and I think the fans that come from behind that goal, they still believe as well. We haven't given up and obviously we've still got a couple of games against teams around us win them and the whole picture changes. Mark, you mentioned the fans that travelled, I think it was 116 that made, a, the, what a noise they made you know, inside the stadium today. And it must have been giving you guys a huge boost as it went into the closing stages. Yeah, obviously I was down the other end for the closing stages, but first half they're fully behind us, especially when we went 1-0 up as well. You know, fair place to them for coming, obviously it's a rearranged fixture on a, on a Tuesday night, it's not exactly the closest place in the world. But you know, it just shows the spirit that we've still got and we're still fighting. And Asa, finally, obviously now we look ahead to another big game, which is at Scunthorpe on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, they're all going to be massive games now, but all we can do is, it's the cliche of win the next game. And, you know, we had to start somewhere with a win and hopefully this is the start of us, uh, you know, putting those points on the board and dragging some teams in. It certainly sounds like there's still a lot of belief in the camp. 100%, that's, that's always been there. You know, we, we're a tight group and we work hard, the gaffer works hard and, and the staff and, We've never given up and we won't till you know till we can't anymore.